All right, so now here we are, um, and we filled out basically the tags. Now, obviously, I didn't do that, but I basically demonstrated to you how you could. Um, you're going to want to search for longer tail keywords that you can rank for, just to recap, um, and use TubeBuddy or any other service that you find you know formidable. I think TubeBuddy's the best. It's really, I've really seen an uptick in my traffic ever since I've started using it on my own channels. Uh, so you should use it, especially because it comes free. You don't have to upgrade, although I do recommend doing so. Like I said, it will be linked in that last, uh, that uh, I think I believe it was lecture eight is the last one. This is lecture nine. So now what, what we basically uploaded the video, we obviously named it and we started filling in our tags and we got to as close to uh, 500 characters as possible. Now, a couple other things that you're going to want to do. First and foremost, we are going to add the description. So the first thing that you want in your description is your, because we're trying to make money here, uh, we're going to link a CPA offer in the description. Now I recommended one, um, but I forgot to say, you know, it's US only or it's this or that. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to look for one that, you know, hits a bunch of different demographics, um, Asian date free sign up. So I'm going to, I should, what I basically should have done is, is say something along the lines of, you know, it, so for, you know, if I've heard some great things about this one for the U S if you, if you're in the U S, you know, check this out and then I would link bridge of love in there. So clearly I didn't, I, I miss, you know, misspoke with that, but I was just trying to give you an example of how you could actually implement this process. Like we talked about with the Asian date too. If you wanted to do Asian date, you would simply link Asian date in the bottom and, you know, say you, maybe your video is tailored around why Asian women are better to date or something like that. So it's really, really simple. Um, you're going to come down here. Like we talked about at the end, once you're in the offer and you're going to come down and you're going to go to either banners or search and every once in a while you'll see text. Now all those are fine. I choose banners. Um, if there's text one, that's usually easy to get. And then you're going to get your tracking code. Now it'll give you something like this, which looks like HTML, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to copy your HTML and you're going to take it to something like a word document to extract your actual link out of it. And when word loads, I will show you what I mean. So then you're gonna open your Word document, you're gonna paste that HTML in there. Now you'll see that this is basically what is code to the computer of you know what the, the thing would actually look like in a banner. So what we wanna do is we wanna extract the link out of there. So the link is actually the HTTP uh, link right here after the first uh, parent or after the first quotes, okay? So you see the first quotes, then you're gonna take everything from the first quotes all the way to the second quotes. Now this might not be as streamlined as, as normal, sometimes it's like meshed together like this, um, a little bit more, uh, but really all you need to know is you want to take the link from the first quotes all the way to the second quotes, and that is your link. So you'll see here, it ends right in the middle of them, okay? And then if you simply take that to a new browser, no cookies, just to kind of give you an example, and you pasted that in, My Microsoft Edge is really slow and so is my Firefox, so I never use them. Um, Google Chrome is where it's at. If you don't have Google Chrome, you are making a mistake. <laughs> and clearly this looks all messed up, um, probably because Microsoft Edge is ghetto. Let's take it to a random thing here and I'll show you what I mean. That's actually strange. I don't know why it pops up like, okay, there we go. So we just need to load for a minute. Um, but this will basically take you to a page here where you can log in. Now it looks a little strange. I'm not sure why it actually looks that way. Um, let's try a different offer because that's actually strange. We're going to go back in and that's why it's important to always test your links out. Now I'm sure maybe that's just a loading problem. Maybe it's just, you know, something to do with Bridge of Love. So let's go back and actually get a different one. So let's go like I... Get Naughty US. And we're gonna come all the way down to text links. This one has a text link. So we're gonna get our tracking code. Now, everything from the first apostrophes, you can take it to a Word document that's easy, a Word document if it's easier for you to see. But I'm gonna take everything from the, sorry, not the apostrophes, the quotes in between the first quote and the second quote, copy that because that is your link. Now, if we take that and we paste that, it should take us to a landing page. And it does. See, this one actually works. This is one that you're going to want to use. Um, it's a little bit better. I don't know what was wrong with that old one, but we're actually going to use Get Naughty. So I'm going to actually link this in the description with something like uh, the best dating site for 2017 through 2018, actually. We'll do something like that. 
and then we're simply going to paste the link in there. And then because you're you're really not um, doing too too much uh, with you know ranking or, or anything like that with your channel, you're just simply trying to generate traffic to your CPA links. All you're really going to want to do is fill out the dis this description. Now you can put other related links in here too if you wanted to. Um, I'm not gonna you know you can search through whatever CPA network that you get. Um, if it's Max Bounty, if it's Peerfly, if it's another one, search through and you can put a couple of different ones that you recommend if you want to do that. Um, I wouldn't get too out of hand. I'd kind of want the majority of my traffic going to one or two CPA links. Um, but then you're basically going to want to fill out your description below that about what this video is about. So in this example, I would basically type, you know, uh, many uh, of us, you know, go through, and this is something that I would type, like many of us go through, you know, lol, uh, lols here and there in our dating lives. Uh, and I know that a lot of people are out there searching for dating tips in 2017. You're going to want to try to throw your keywords from your tags in there uh, in your description because that will also help you rank a little bit better uh, video wise. There's something to keep in mind. It doesn't have to be too, too long, maybe like a paragraph, maybe two max. And then simply, um, you know, you can basically save your changes. And really all you're trying to do with this is generate traffic by giving value through your video. And you're going to want the link, obviously, in there. And then I also suggest creating a thumbnail to kind of grab attention. So the way that I create thumbnails is, like you, like I said, you can obviously buy them on Fiverr if you want, but you don't have to. I go to Canva. It's free. If I can type. <laughs> and I simply create YouTube thumbnails here. It's really, really easy. There's a thing right here that's basically YouTube thumbnails. It's drag, it drag and drops the picture that you upload pretty much to the specifications of YouTube and that thumbnail, okay? So if I were gonna go do, to do this, for example, I might go to Google and I would type in something like dating success or something like that. And I'd get a picture that's like somebody that's like, like this, this would be perfect. And I would basically save this and then I would upload it here and then I'd simply drag that image over. Clearly, this is a YouTube video that, that I just did. Um, but that image would be here. Maybe I'd, you know, depending on what you want to do, you can make it like half your thing with some some pop up text like that, or you can drag it over like to the full thing and put some text around it. Really, all you're trying to do here is put something that's going to relate the video in image terms to somebody's brain when they scroll past and they see it. And you're trying to generate attention for your video because the the best thumbnail always wins. Ninety percent of the time. If I ask you this question and you're on YouTube, 90% of the time when you look at things, do you read the titles first or do you look at the thumbnails? The answer is you look at the thumbnails. So make sure you spend some time on, on creating a decent thumbnail. It's not very hard. You just need a picture that captures attention and some big text on it um, You know that's going to actually grab attention. So I'm going to show you really fast what this video actually looks like on YouTube. This will be the video that people see. And clearly, you'll see that that now I didn't put in a description or tag it really, um, but that you'll see the link right here in case people wanted to click it, they would obviously click it and it would take them to this landing page. Probably going slow because I have a bunch of software in the background. Of course, this isn't going to cooperate right now. <laughs> I don't know why my page isn't loading. But anyway, you get the picture. Um, it's, it's CPA links are very, very easy to get. They're very, very easy to implement. You just need to, you don't want to be, basically, you want it to be subtle is what I'm trying to say. You want to give value in the video, something related to that niche and topic, and then simply link it and, you know, plug it uh, at the end of your video and say that there's a link in your description and people will check that out. Now, that will generate traffic to your link, make you money, and make you commissions. It's really, really that simple, guys. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video here um, and kind of give you the overview of how to actually upload, you know, tag your video, obviously, and, you know, put, put it in the, the link in the description and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind. And we're going to jump right into the next lecture.